What is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another exciting Pokemon Go video, and today, Pokemon Go finally announced what the Ultra Unlock bonus for the Global Challenge is. Finally, all of our hard work has paid off. Some people, I will just say this right now, some people are not happy, while others are extremely happy. So we will just get right into it. Today they posted, throughout the past few months, many of you have worked hard to meet goals of Professor Willow's global research challenge. During the Dortmund Safari event in June, Pokemon Go Fest in July, and the Yokosuka Safari event in August. Trainers from all around the world completed a variety of research tasks for Professor Willow with dedication and enthusiasm. And now it's time to celebrate with a special Ultra Bonus event. First, starting September 13th at 1 p.m. PDT, that is Wednesday, trainers all over the world will be able to encounter three legendary Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres will appear in raid battles until September 20th. And if you're lucky, you may be able to encounter them once again in their shiny forms or for the first time. Also, Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region will appear more frequently all around the world and show up in raid battles until September 30th. And there's more. On September 20th, 1 p.m. PDT, Mewtwo will be coming to raid battles. Mewtwo has previously only been available to trainers invited to EX raids, but now all trainers will be able to challenge the legendary psychic type Pokemon until October 23rd. Mind you, that's a whole month. So prepare yourself and don't miss this opportunity. Being it's a whole month, it might be pretty hard to not. Don't miss your opportunity to encounter this powerful Pokemon before it disappears. Finally, there's one more special surprise. Farfetch'd, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mine, and Tauros are now gonna be joining the Alolan Pokemon in 7KM eggs through the end of September. I had predicted this, that at one point they would end up throwing them in there because they're going to be adding more regionals, of course, throughout the, the, the gens that get released, and people were going to get tired of Alolans. So I'm super excited to see this. I, I'm not surprised to see this. These Pokemon have not migrated to many parts of the world, so don't miss this unique opportunity to send gifts to friends and finally achieve a complete Kanto Dex. Now mind you, there is no actual date attached to that paragraph. So, thank you trainers for working together to complete Professor Willow's research. There are plenty more to explore and many Pokemon to discover. So let's get out there and go. And throughout the day, Pokemon has posted uh, multiple different tweets that have hinted towards some certain things. So uh, a lot of people are pretty sure, one, Shiny Mewtwo is going to come once they release Mewtwo. Two, they're pretty sure and they're, they're over expectant. But it makes sense that when the event starts, all the Shinies from Kanto will be available. And then third, because one, Mr. Mime is going into eggs and, and you have Mime Jr. in Gen 4, this really is closing out Kanto completely almost. It really does hint towards Gen 4 coming. Now mind you, these are just really huge theories right now. Nothing is uh, proof worthy or, or anything. It's just really well thought out theories and that, that's all you can go on. Don't take any word for anything anybody says until Niantic posts it, really. But that is it for the Ultra Unlock announcement. As I said, there are a lot of mixed feelings with this. I personally feel like it is a very recycled event, but I do understand how it will benefit other people. The, the Mewtwo raid stuff specifically, I understand how people can be upset that uh, they worked very hard very hard to get their Mewtwo's. Don't let that credit be taken away just because other people can obtain it easily now. You did put in that work, and you did get your congrats, and you did earn that. You had to know that it was never gonna stay exclusive. Be happy that other people can now get it, 
and something else can come into the EX RAID system, hopefully. That's how I'm seeing it, and that's how I'm taking it, is even though it is a, in my opinion, a very recycled event, we still don't know all the details. Like, it is theoried there could be a drop of all Gen 1 shiny. Uh, that would be worth it. And then assuming because we got all the shiny legendary birds, we will get shiny Mewtwo as well, it makes sense, and the, again, that would be well worth it. Keep in mind, there are seven current generations with an eighth one to be announced. Not announced, but to be uh, revealed to us what it contains. It's already been announced. There's eight generations of Pokemon, and we are only on Gen 3. Don't expect stuff to stay the same. At least forever. It's not. It will. St it, they'll implement new stuff, and it will stay that way for, for a while and then it, of course it will change. So, with that being said, I'm I'm not I'm not pushing a negative opinion or 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 idea that people are being whiny and need to just stop. What I'm saying is no one seems to be satisfied with this game ever. And everybody seems to be either surprised in a negative or positive way when they change stuff. I just don't understand why. It kind of seems that that's the way gaming is turning nowadays. They release an initial game and they want that game to last longer than just a year. So they implement new stuff to it and update it throughout that year and change it. Sometimes not everybody's gonna like the changes and sometimes everybody is gonna like the changes. This game was not made specifically for you or me. This game was made for millions of people, and they have to keep in mind the mass majority of players rather than the larger grinded percent. Yes, all of us players that are up there and have done this stuff and have a lot of this stuff, this is a very meh event. But for those who just started playing right when Gen 3 was released, right when trading came back, these people don't have this stuff. And I think Pokemon Go and Niantic know that and are trying to appease people that left once before and came back while also still trying to keep their current game player. So keep that in mind. Your Mewtwo is still very special. You put in that hard work, you did all that work, and you deserved it, you got it. Don't let that, don't let any of this devalue your Mewtwo. That's it, moving on. Moving on to uh, basically ending the video. <laughs> so, uh, I personally, as I said, it's not a very exciting event to me, but it still is an exciting event, especially since we can now get regional eggs. That's the main thing I'm taking from it. Super excited that I can finally complete my actual full decks without having to travel. It would have been amazing to travel, but that's not a reality for a lot of people. So I'm thankful that we can finally get those in uh, 7km eggs super exciting. Maybe all the Gen 1 Shinies will drop and maybe Shiny Mewtwo will come when he's released. If you liked the video, scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!